All right, welcome back. We were doing the entering the if formula in here, right? We're entering the if formula in this particular cell and realize we encountered a problem. So we are trying to face the dollar sign in front of the parts over here that we picked into our cell over here. Good. And we will now inspect and see whether there's a dollar, apart from the E7, the rest of the uh, cells selected in here, there's a dollar in front, the letters, and behind the letters. Okay, we have one here that nearly escaped, so we put a dollar there. We are still creating an invoice. Don't forget that one. An automated invoice. Okay, okay, everything. One here is left out. Good, so we inspect again. Okay. Uh, is it good to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are inspecting. So join me, let's inspect. Okay, so now it is good to go. Enter. Let's copy the same thing from here down once again. Let's do it again. Good. Then let's check. Good. Do you notice now it is starting from A5? Good. Let's check the next one too. Do you notice this one is also starting from A5? That means it has made this cells that we selected become static in here. So what we'll do next is, let's pick different items and see whether it will give us the right, so we pick an SI book here, the right unit price. We pick a mathematics book here, wow, we confirm, got it correct. Then we pick a notebook here, did it get correct? Eight, good. We compare it to the side here, compared to the items here and the unit price. So let's pick the next one. We pick a pencil here. Good, we got it right. Let's pick pen. Okay, let's pick poster color. We get it right. Yes, we did. Let's pick pencil here. Oh, yep, let's pick pencil. We got it right. Good. Let's pick notes pad. Good. So let's see. With this. Figures here, they are not always static, right? Sometimes we may decide to, the price may change on the market, so we may decide to adjust the price in here. So maybe it has increased to seven cities, right? So we change the value in there for brush, seven cities. We cannot select brush, so let's go down and select brush. <coughs> Sorry. So let's select brush. So brush is seven cities. Okay, let's change another one. Maybe the price of SI book. We went to the market again and realized it's now three cities. Okay. You see, SI book already here shows three cities. But let's see, change to three cities. Right? So that's the power of this. Then the quantity. Let's say the person bought two automatically to get the total price it must multiply the unit price by the quantity so what do we do we enter from our sum equals sum bracket open the quantity in here we use asterisk as times times the unit price times the quantity and let's see we give you six wow that's good so we will drag that down and it will automatically pick that formula in there. Good. So let's say at the bottom here, we don't want it to extend to this place or uh, here. So what we we'll do over here is we want it to find the total cost in here by person. So we we'll type in here total. So how do we get total of 
all, all this. How do we get the total of all this in here? We just type in because some brackets open, and what we do is select from here now, then click enter. Good. So now it is good to be used now, but we want just this area, just this area to be printable. The rest should not be printed. So what do we do? We go to view and select page break view. Right? Remove the R the blue mark border here. Good. Right? Then what do we do next? It is good to go now. Right. So we maximize or we increase the point of it. Appears to be a bit too small. Okay, so now it's a bit bigger. Good. You see it. So our invoice is ready for use now. We are done. But in order for you not to temper with some of the formless, let's highlight the place that we can actually enter data so here we give it a unique color code so let's say the yellow then over here also give it a unique color code let's say also yellow so we know it's only the yellow yellow portion that you can enter so now i'm saying it's ready for you so if it is true let's try it and see so the name of the student who worked to the bookshop is andrew so you enter the name Andrews Kielsen. Then you ask him, please, what and what do you want to buy? Okay, he tells you, first, I want to buy a drawing board. Okay, you select a drawing board. Where's the drawing board? Uh, drawing board is here. Good. How many do you want to buy? Only one. Okay, then you correct this one. Anything else? I want to buy brush. So you select, uh, you look for brush. It's sorted. Rush. Okay. Then you move on. What again do you want to buy? I want to buy pencil. Okay, select pencil. How many? How many do you want to buy for the brush? It tells you two. Okay, you enter it in there. What about the pencil? One. Okay. Pen. Do you want to buy pen? It says yes. How many? It tells you five. Okay, you put it there. Five. Then poster color, do you need poster color? It tells you yes. Uh, no. Then it tells you, okay, I need sketch pad rather. Okay. How many? It tells you two. Put it there, quantity. Then, that's it. Do you need a pencil? No, it says yes. How many? It tells you four. You enter it in there. Uh, okay. Do you need any other thing? And it says, no, I don't need any other thing. I like this. I click this. Right? So at the tail of this, it will show you how much the person is supposed to pay. And you can print this out as a receipt for the person. So let's do a little bit to this side to make it look a bit more catchy. So change the color, then change the text color also. The cell color, we have done it to blue. Then text to you change it to white, then blue. It. Okay, so let's look at the print view by clicking Ctrl P. So this is the print view. Do we want the unit price to be showing? We said no. So let's go back. Why is the unit price? showing that means the unit price we did not drag it out so we remove it from there now we want to put numbers also here so we, what we do is the first one is item one the second one we click equals the app cell plus one okay we enter and what do you do we drag this down okay and we are good to go it's now good for print view right so this is how it will show viewers thank you for following me i'm andrew